I'll get it working again before the uh, the weekend starts. <laughs> oh, it, it's working right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's skin in the skies. We're not finding a whole lot out there tonight, and that's a good thing. Some drier air is starting to work back into our area overnight tonight. Live Viper radar as it is working. I should I knock on the screen and see if it's working? No, it is working out there, but it is a quiet night tonight. Beautiful look outside on our window nation tower camera this evening as we've got good visibility and drier, cooler air starting to work its way back in. We're at 70 still at this hour. McConnellsville, Newark down to 61 though already in Marysville. 63 is uh, generally the popular number off towards the west and north. And we're still holding on to 69 here in the city. Our wind speeds are very light outside set. I've been keeping an eye on the visibility, still not seeing a lot of fog developing across our area. And if we do see some fog, I think most of that's going to be over fields uh, that have had a lot of rain, as we mentioned over the past couple of days, uh, especially down towards the south and southeast. May have a little bit of that shallow fog to wake up to tomorrow morning, but working against it will be drier air to move in overnight tonight. Typically this time of the evening, we talk about the humidity starting to go back up. That number's actually been dropping tonight. It's relative to the temperature. So as the temperature goes down, that humidity should normally go up a bit. It's it's not because some drier air is starting to move back in, and that's going to be the case through the rest of the overnight. So again, a little bit of shallow fog in spots overnight tonight. I do expect to see more clearing as we head through the day tomorrow. So with a cooler start, we're still going to have a warmer afternoon because of the sunshine that'll be around, and it is going to set us up for a few warmer days ahead, including some above normal temperatures before the radar gets some work again heading into the upcoming weekend as we're going to be out ahead of our next weather system. So short term, you'll notice cloud cover continuing to thin out a bit. We'll see some scattered clouds still sticking around during the day on Wednesday, but generally speaking, we're going to be under a northerly influence, which will continue to drive in drier and uh, at times in the mornings, especially some cooler air that will work into our areas for the morning hours, but the afternoon being plentiful of sunshine. We should see nice warm ups the next couple of days, including tomorrow. We're where we'll climb from uh, low to mid uh, 50, I'm sorry, low 60s to upper 50s across most of our area. And we will climb back into the lower 80s during the afternoon tomorrow. So it is going to be a nice little jump in temperatures as we head through the day tomorrow. In fact, great weather if you're going to be going outdoor for lunch pretty much the rest of the week. We'll be at 75 tomorrow at lunchtime, getting up to 80 for the afternoon high. As we head into the extended, a little warmer every day from here. We'll see 82 on Thursday, up to 84 Friday. More importantly, Week four of football Friday night. Again, looking great weather wise. We're going to have temperatures back in the upper 70s at kickoff, dropping into the low to mid 70s during those games. Here's the weekend, though. We'll see rain showers returning mainly later in the day on Saturday. And then we get more of an unsettled pattern setting up for Sunday out ahead of our next cold front. So, on and off rain showers Sunday. If you got to make outdoor plans for the weekend, Saturday, especially early, looking like the better of the two days. The cold front comes through on Monday. Look at high temperatures next week 76. Mm. That's rain cooled Monday. But Tuesday, we get sunshine shine back in and only 75 for the high. Yeah, just rain for the weekend. Yeah, that's all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks.